Happy, happy, happy Saturday to everybody that's listening to the sound of my voice. Oh, it's feel good Saturday. Do anybody feel as good as I feel on this Saturday morning? Oh, wait, what a feel good Saturday it is. And listen, it's feel good Saturday spotlight. What are we doing, y'all? We're spotlighting some of the best in the best in our industry. And I'm super excited to spotlight Memphis on the one, the only, the original. That ain't for one, baby. When the Lord made him, he had to break the mold, baby, because there's only one, the Marquis of Soul. What's up, Marquis of Soul? What it do? What it do? How y'all doing out there? It's Saturday. And how are you, Miss Talisa Franklin? I am so excited. Baby, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good like a church and a saint of God would listen to this feel-good Saturday music. Ooh, I know what you mean. Me too. That yeah, thing so get all over kids, me on set. Saturday mornings right here on the trend. That's what's trending is good feel-good feel good music. And what you do, you are truly one of an artist that when you hear your music, it makes you smile. It makes you feel good. You're like, oh, I'd have been touched by the Marquis yes. of Soul. So for the people that's been living on a rock that don't really know who Marquis of Soul is, why don't you go ahead and tell everybody who is the Marquis of Soul? Well, 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 I am the one, the only Marquis of Soul out of Memphis, Tennessee. Listen, I traveled the world abroad with uh, Shirley Brown and Al Green. And uh, I did background work for them, road management, all that kind of stuff. And then I just got out on my own and started doing my own thing. A lot of times they didn't want to let me in. But once they gave Marquia Soul to Mike, I went for what I know. If I had to hit the floor and kick my leg up in the air, I made it happen. So that's how people know who the Marquia Soul is from now on, you know, because I had to prove myself. You know, and, and so now everywhere I go, Mark Hill Soul, Mark Hill Soul. I went to an event this past weekend and the guy said, you going to hit the floor? I said, oh, man, I don't know about that. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I, I I was just honored that he he had been watching me and he know what I do. You know, a lot of different artists everywhere I go, they always uh, giving me props and, and saying they like my music, you know, they like my craft and I'm true to the craft, you know, and I, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful. So Marquia, so let's talk about this. You know, many people uh, remember me from the Southern soul to the blues. You know, I had an opportunity to serve at WLRM. Uh, and let me tell you, that was an amazing time of service. A shout out, and I want to always shout out to the Greg Peters, y'all. Uh, Greg yes. Peters passed away. Uh, he was, I would call him my radio husband. But when I tell you who taught me the blues, Greg literally taught me the blues, right? Because I was a little church girl doing blues music. But I tell you, I enjoyed that season. And because of that, I was able to meet great people like yourself. And so, you know, Greg and I would have these conversations uh, before he passed away, uh, the environment of, of Southern soul and blues music, what are we going to do to keep it alive? Because many people are not really understanding the genre. It's such an amazing genre, but people are not appreciating. It's the same thing with quartet music. You know, on the trend, Marquia, so we make it our business each and every day. We do an hour uh, at seven o'clock with Linda Covington with quartet music because it's such a great music right and so yes. now you think about the blues and now we call yes. it a little jazzy name southern soul southern uh, soul southern soul and you're a true southern soul artist so tell us what is your what's your viewpoint on how people should start receiving the blues and southern soul artists like yourself well i'm gonna tell you something to me southern soul is just a young folks blues that's all it is, a young folks blues. You know, the older people had the Johnny Taylors. They had the Tyrone Davis. They had all these people. And, and Southern Soul is really younger artists singing blues. So it's that's where I get from it. It's the young folks blues. You know, now, now older folk love our music too now. But to me, it's the young folks blues. You know, it's like a, almost like R&B you know, but but it's a it's that churchy feel that give us that blues thing, you know, because that's all blues is. It's just a church feel, you Yay. know. That's all it is, and I love it. I mean, I love it. I love to 
to be able to. And you know what? I, I my thing is my name is the Marquis Soul. If you don't feel nothing when I'm up there, I ain't did nothing. Yeah. You know, so I want you to be able to feel it like you in church. I want you to feel something. Feel Let me Marquis tell you, you're going to make sure you feel it, baby, because I'm going to tell you something. Y'all that's listening to FM 104 AM 1240, WAV in the tree, listen, if you never experienced Marquis Soul, he is a brother that is a little full-figured brother, but he moved like he 100 pounds. So, Marquis, that is literally has been your signature, I believe, because I've never seen anyone like you that can lay flat foot on the stage and hit every note and keep the party going. Kind of, so that's what people know you as. Kind of talk about yes. where you got that from. I know you sang behind so many others, but did they yes, get out I, in the flow or did you just I, get out in the flow? Well, well, I'm going to tell you, see, I used to see Patty LaBelle. I love Patty LaBelle. And uh, Al used to do it. And then I had some people to say, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. You don't want to do that. But then the turn around, I see them doing it. I said, oh, man, listen, if I, what I feel, if I want to give it all to the people, that's what I'm going to do. So that's what I did, you know, and that's what I do. If I feel it, if I go there and leaves and I go somewhere, I'm gone then, you know, and, and, and it prob I probably end up on the floor. I probably end up with my leg up in there. I probably end up going somewhere, tears running down my face or something like that. You know, it, it's all in, 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 in giving it to the people, you know, that's what I do. And that's what uh, I'm accustomed to, you know, yeah. give it to them. And, you know, one thing you do, Marquis, so I always tell people, learn how to be the best version of your own self, right? That's so when you lead, others follow, and people will never forget how you left it all on the stage. You know, a lot of yes. times when I'm hosting, and they said, Talisa, you're funny, you this and that. I said, but when I get behind that mic, that's my that's time it. right there, baby. It's all that's eyes it. on me. Either I'm that's gonna it. I'm gonna work it or I'm gonna sit down. And I ain't coming to sit down because most mm. cases people don't pay me good money, baby. And I can't right? show even in the middle of the show, mm. right? You write about it. You write about it, baby. That's right. Let's talk about your music, Marquis. Uh, of so you have. Let's talk about your music because you've been singing for a while. Uh, let's uh -huh. go down memory lane of your music so many people need to know how they need to get your collection of your music. Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you right here at Feel Good Saturday, Marquee of Soul is what's trending. Now, we do have now on CD Baby, we have uh, all of my stuff is on CD Baby. You know, I was taught that you you, you go through CD Baby. It's a lot of, a lot of uh, other platforms out there. But CD Baby, we'll get your stuff on these are on on the uh, um, SoundCloud, on the different ones or so. And so I always go through CD Baby and they'll pay you, you know, so and I, and I want to get paid for my work, you know, so. <laughs> so Let's, I, that. I Let's talk about that. that. Marquis, I want to talk about that. Getting uh -huh. paid for your work. There's so yes. many people that I saw back when I was doing uh, Blue Southern Soul that people didn't want to pay Southern soul artists and the blues artists, but they're still charging $25 and $35 at the door, but they expect these artists to come in and work for free, not even for gas money. You know, they want to work, you want to work them for free. Then you want to give them a little liquor and say, it's all right. That don't make them folk feel good when they go home no, on that it, Sunday. Oh, that's right. Especially not me, because I don't drink. Mm. <laughs> I don't do no drink. Give me some chicken and give me some Sprite or Coke, and I'm doing okay. But yeah. I don't do no drinking. You can't give me that. See, I did that back then. I uh, I was so excited till I, I just wanted a microphone. Just give me the microphone. Give it to me. You know, to times I even paid out of my pocket to pay my band and, you know, to do stuff. I just wanted to be there in the spotlight and all that then faded away. Now it's time yeah. to get paid for your work. You know, you didn't did that for free before, you yeah. know, and I was told by different artists that you got to do, you know, free things. And there's nothing wrong with doing free things. But after you did it so long, about five or six years, it's time for you to get paid for your what you work, you know. And so a lot of times, you know, people don't want to book you or have you on a, on a show because they choose not to pay you, but they'll go and pay, you know, bring another artist out of town, you know, and pay them their full amount, but they want to try to give you pennies. And what the Mark Hill soul do now is I let it go. I just let you, you go on, do what you do. You know, it'll be all right with me. You know, I don't, 
I used to have this thing that I just wanted to be on everybody's stage. I just wanted to do it, you know, and but I'm tired, you know, people, you get tired after so long. I heard a story, story say if a dog bites you the first time, it's the dog fault. But if that dog bite, bites you the second time, it's your own fault. You know, after you done did it for a while, you know, don't allow people to use you. You know, I just sit back. Somebody, God going to tell somebody to call you. God going to put you on somebody's mind and somebody's heart and they going to call you. And I had to learn that because I wanted to call everybody. I want to, hey, 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 I'm the Marquis Soul. Listen, man, let me come do, let me come do, uh-uh. I had to learn to sit back and trust God. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and everything else will be added unto you. You know, Hallelujah. so uh, that's what I had to learn, you know, and I've been in church all my life, all my life, you know, so I know how I go, but I was just so excited, man. I was just little young artist. I was excited about doing, you know, and wasn't yeah. doing it right, but I was excited about doing it until I got to the point where I said, hey, man, your crap is worth you know, getting paid for your crowd. You know, it's not that you you are so big and mighty, but you you should get paid for what you do. Absolutely. You know, and, and you know, know my key when you come into, I know you you know, I have the South Haven location and I have my Midtown location, uh -huh. and I have a wall in my Midtown location. You all that's listening, if you haven't never been to our studio in Midtown, we have a whole wall desert, uh, dedicated to the blues artists. I call it the Dr. Jane Abraham's wall. Uh, because there's a lot of her blues artist friends uh, that she loved, right? And I look at those, and when I have people come in, I say, you're standing on their shoulders. Many yes. of these, that's not many, the 99.9% .9 of all these Black musicians that you see on my wall today, I that's guarantee right. they never got paid for any of their gift. They did it for the love uh, and just for the hobby. And so you cannot negate that they did it for this. But one thing you have to learn, so many others, especially right here on this Feel Good Saturday Trendy, you got to know the business of music. That's the key. A lot of people don't know the business of it. But I was privileged and blessed to be able to uh, be the road manager for Al Gray and a road manager for Shirley Brown. You know, so I was hands on. I learned that part of the business, but I had to go to uh, uh, Google and stuff and learn the other part of the business that you want to get your rights. You want to get you, you want to uh, go to BMI. You want to do copyright. You want to do ASCAP or whatever. You want to do this to show ownership. You know, and people a lot of times record companies don't want to fool with you because they know you know the business. Yeah, and, and when Mark you know the so business, they'll treat you a different way. You know, exactly. right here on WABN, the trend FM 104 AM 1240. I am proud to say we are a BDS reporting station, right? And so yes. when I have certain artists. And I'd be like, baby, at the end of the day, we are a BDS reporting station. I don't care what else go on. I just know the way we have this company structure because it is my desire uh, for people to do great in life, right? And so that was one of the reasons why Marquis, uh, it was like, I got to add Southern Soul and Blues to our roster. We went through a whole year and it was great. I must admit, it's been great. But year two, yeah. I was like, okay, Talisa. If Greg was here, he'd be fussing at me and said, dear, you know Absolutely. we have some blues. And I was like, okay, Greg, I'm going to do this blues. I'm going to do it just for you because we're going to make Saturdays feel good again. That's it. like in the mornings, right before we did this, we had the Donnie Simpson show, right? Then yes. your show, uh, uh, your 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 piece of this show, the Feel Good Saturday. And then uh -huh. we have Larry D. Dawson that's going to have some great music. And this is what it takes, but we want to make sure by you hearing all this great music, it was imperative that we hear artists that's doing yes. great things, that's being transparent yes. about yes. their story. And that's what you are, baby. You are transparent you. because you understand the business now. Yes. And when you understand yes. the business, it's just like riding, it's just like driving a car. I don't care yes. what kind of car I get in. I know how to drive so I can drive it. So it don't matter. You know, you I even tell people, even when I, when I took this, this station, I said, 
It doesn't matter that I never owned a station, but I own businesses because it's the same thing, baby. You got to drive it the same way. That's and it. That's the thing in business, even in the industry. You may love singing and you may love entertaining, but if the business is not maintaining, that's you ain't right. ready to entertain long, baby, because you're gonna be a broke entertainer or Absolutely. you're gonna die. Unfortunately, we got to do a GoFundMe because we didn't see there. Do See there, uh, uh, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't, I ain't gonna do it. You gonna have to pay. You got to pay what you, you know. And uh, I've, I've learned, and I try to teach the business. It's a lot of Memphis artists. I, I, I help around Memphis. I'm gonna, I, I book shows. I do shows here in Memphis, and I get artists that don't usually get the exposure you know, that, that they need, you know, and I, and I set them down and we'll, I go over the BMI stuff. I go over the ASCAP. I go over the copyright stuff because I want them to be able to own their own stuff. And then I've had a couple of them tell me, man, well, you go ahead on and do that. No, I want you to learn how to do that. I want yeah. you to be able to own your own stuff. I did, I, I was dealing with a record company here, I took music to a record company here, and uh, I'm just gonna share a little taste. And I, I went and I took them a song, and they listened. Oh, I love that song, I love it, that's nice. But I need you to change the bass line. Let me ask you a question Had it already been copyright? Yeah, yeah, it's been copyright. So I, I, I need you to change the bass line. So I go back to the studio that same day and I change the bass line and I bring it back the next day. And when, when I get there the next day, they said, well, uh, it, it's not loud enough. Well, I, I hear too many keys, you know. Well, first you said the bass line, now you saying the keys. No, the problem is you can't own my music because I already got it copyrighted. That's the thing, see? And a lot of artists have signed with different record companies that basically own them. You got to pay all them thousands back before you get anything from that, mm -hmm. you know? And people don't understand. They're jumping to contracts and all that kind of, don't do that. Read the contract, get you a, a uh, uh, get you a, a, a lawyer, entertainment lawyer. That's what I'm trying to say, yeah. Get you a lawyer to take a look over that. You know, now, I mean, I've been doing it so long, I don't really need a lawyer if I can, if, if if something I don't understand, then I can always pick up the phone because I got a lawyer team that works for me, you know, so I can pick up the phone and ask them a question. But more than likely, you ain't really finna get nothing passed on the mark here. So, but I hadn't <laughs> signed with nobody. I haven't yeah. signed with nobody. All my stuff is independent. Everything you hear on the mark here, so I own it. I own Man. everything you hear, you know, so. That's powerful. That's yes. powerful. I know uh, we, we got to wrap up this school good Saturday so people can hear some more <laughs> of the Mark Hill soul music. Yes. Uh, but literally, I am so proud of you because you are not letting people take advantage of you. You all that's Thanks. listening, you in the business, let me, you better get with Mark Hill soul. He yes. has enough t-shirts to prove that he been, he been there, done that. And he got some yes. t-shirts to prove that he ain't going to do that no more. <laughs> So nah, Marquee, nah, so nah, we're nah. gonna play a little bit more of your music, but I want okay. you to tell people how they can stay connected to the Marquee of Soul on this feel good Saturday right here. Yes, on YouTube. yes, yes. I get happy every time you say that. I just get <laughs> some just get all over me. Right hey. there. Listen, y'all can reach me at Marcella's Marquee of Soul on Facebook. Y'all can uh my telephone number 901-361-5767. Call me direct. I answer the phone 24 hours a day. And also, you know, I got the Mark Hill Soul uh, road show page. I got my production. I got all you put in Yahoo of being Marcellus Haley Sr. or the Mark Hill Soul and it'll pop up everything about me. You know, so you can always and my telephone numbers are there. My 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 records, everything that I've done is right there on Yahoo of being. You know, so you it. can always get in touch and just inbox me on Facebook and uh, I'll be glad to talk to you. You know, if you need somebody to sing at your, in, in your backyard, I come sing. I sing. You want me to sing in, in the den? I sang in the den. I did many weddings in the den. You know, I did many shows in the den. You know, I don't mind 
singing for you. But let me tell you something. If you call me, I want to make sure mm -hmm, you got something for me. You know, so I don't want y'all. <laughs> So I'm just kidding, I'm having listening. fun, but we got to, it's got to be about business. It got to be. So you all that's listening on FM 104 AM 1240, if you was watching him on social media, he's telling you that don't call the Marquis of Soul unless you got some C-A-S-H. Ah, money answering the Marquis of Soul. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mikey, tell us a little bit about your music because we played several of your projects. Uh, you know, I like the mama one, right? Uh, go yeah, tell, tell your mama. mama I said thank you. Yeah, go oh, tell yeah. your mama. That's what I'm about, right? Yeah, so yeah. go ahead and tell people a few lineup of your music because we 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 jabbing it right here on a Saturday. On oh the wow, track. thank you so yeah. much. Listen, tell your mama I said thank you. Will I roll it by my wife, you know, because she do do everything that you need, you know, take care of the kids, do all this and do that. So I wrote that song about my wife. Then I wrote another song, said, long time. We got to learn to love somebody a long time, especially going into Valentine. You know, uh, not even in Valentine. Every day of your life, love somebody a long time. That's my ballad. That's the one that I'm pushing all over everywhere I go. I, I was in Dallas yesterday, and we did that on, on the uh, interview as well. Long time, y'all. Love somebody a long time. I have out stuff. Your daddy got some for you. There's a lot of different songs that I got you know, out, but I want to push long time as a wedding song, anniversary song, uh, any any event you have, I want long time to be, and I want them to be, they can play long time on any radio station because I made it that way, just, just so they can play that, you know, because uh, a lot of times we get caught up in the hype and we sing about other stuff, you know, and I just choose to sing about everyday living, life, and loving yes. somebody. Yeah. You know, that's what I choose. And see, that's a good thing about blues and Southern Soul, Marquee, that we hear yeah. the love songs. You know, now, so much music now is out. You don't hear love no more, baby. Right. People just love each other again. That's love right. who you're with, baby. Ain't nothing that's, like that real love. Marquee, that's Soul, it. you know I love you, baby. I really do. I know you Been do, and I love you Been a fan of yours back. for years, and I appreciate yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And I'm, you, I'm ready I'm ready to work. You just call me for anything you need, and I'm always there. I I'm love always. it. I love it. I got you, Marquia. So we going to do that. Listen, y'all know what you, you know what I'm listening to, right? I am your girl, Talisa Franklin, right here on this feel good Saturday, right here on the tree. Well, we know what we're doing over here. We're trending the music, the culture, and the conversations all on a feel good Saturday. Keep it like right here to great good old music on feel good Saturday.